your GPE is for the base topic, we're going to talk about operating computing devices and applications for productivity. Cheers to what I'm pertaining to keep on watching. These are two first apps that I use in this manner. Further, for technical business communications and links and documents are group for easy access with encryption, Telegram for promoting through mutuals for academic notes and files, and the Leech Bus feature that monitors large group chats. And Messenger, your daily go to for updates to relatives and friends, and the privacy features such as blocking and encrypted conversation. In email, take note of your CCs and your DCTs. Your CC is your carbon copy, and it creates a copy for sending to your contact list. The recipients can view the list of recipients who receive this copy. BCC is your blank carbon copy. Same goes, but the difference is that the recipients will be able to see the list of recipients who receive that copy. There are two features of MS Word, your mail merging and your sway. Utilize Word with sending emails by mail merging. It allows sending of email messages or attachments to multiple contacts presented in your mail. It works by clicking the mailing tab and the email contacts presented are synced with your Word file. I use my Outlook account for this one. Once everything is done and secure, click Finish and Merge, send email message, and it will be able to send the file to multiple OCPs. Next is Sway. Here I copy phones to make a file turn to a web page. There are ready-made templates to choose from. Show me the layout of Sway and how the text looks in this web page. It could be edited by fixing the font styles, adding pictures, or the layout of the page. There are available templates to be used, but it could also be personalized to your liking. This web page can be shared and viewed by anyone with the link. For multimedia presentations, I like it simple yet eye capturing. I make sure that important details are presented alongside with a unique design and proper theme. Some plates are readily available, but I prefer making my own. There is also this feature that enables the user to recycle and use again previously customized templates or reuse slides if needed. Different font styles and graphics are a must in my presentation. Although when saving the file, I convert it into PDF to preserve the font style and design. When presenting data, I enter tables, graphs, and pictures that could be generated through Excel or by inserting it. Another platform for generating presentations is Canva. Its templates vary from posters, backgrounds, and PowerPoints. I commonly use it for posters, backgrounds, and videos. One reason is that there are times I prefer to present slides instead of the pictures containing information to avoid easy copy and pasting of my content. This is the footage of my pictures earlier in the video. I also use Canva to generate my transition for this video. Ever wanted to raise your computer in Excel? Check it out. Grace can easily be computed with spreadsheets since they have fill-in commands to key in formulas specific for any computation that you need. Here I computed the percentage of raw grade. Look at the top, the function formula bar. That is where the formulas are typed in to generate executable commands. This data collection contains a survey as well, but our students are satisfied with their grade. With the tally code, a bar graph is made to visualize the response. Another is Google Sheets. Sheets has a ton of ready-made templates to use. One that I use daily is the assignment tracker. The assignment tracker is just like a to-do list of my projects or assignments progress. Label per subject and assignment are your status, time, start date, and due date. I think this with my calendar to track my progress. This can be colorful and personalized too. <laughs> Lastly, I just want to include our class Excel to-do list made by our secretary. Here we all keep track of the assignments, lessons, and projects that we have. It is like an overview of our different classes' projects. That's all for today. Thank you for watching my video and see you on my next one.